Good day, welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Grace, peace from God our Father and from our Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. Today our lesson comes to us from Proverbs chapter 18 verse 24. God wants us to turn to our godly friends and we want to realize that God placed friends in our lives for a purpose. Friendships. These friendships can draw us closer sometimes and have much greater or deeper ties together. Sometimes even than some of our family members. And these friendships provide opportunities for mutual edification and correction. So today we will see from the scriptures that the Lord intends for us to have friends. Relationship first and foremost with him being our friend and with others. He wants us to have enriching fellowship one with another. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 24, a man that had friends must show himself friendly and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. When one finds themselves with different challenges, we must first turn to our heavenly father. He is the one who gives relief, but he has also placed people in our lives, people who will love us, people who will support us, people who will interact with us in times of trials or difficulties. So he provides friend along or friends along our way. Sometimes in our own estimation, they may not be the ones that we think we ought to have or this relationship that we should have with this person. But the Lord has placed them in our lives for a purpose. Sometimes immediately we don't see the purpose. So let us react with them instead of retreating to times of loneliness as a way of escape. Because sometimes instead of reasoning with our friends what we do, we enter into fantasies or into addictive behaviors when we could have sat and talked with our friends. One of the greatest blessings that we have in life is having godly friends. People who will encourage us, people who will support us in all different ways. We don't have to be reluctant when the time comes for us to call upon our friends. And those times do come within our lives, times of grief, times of a deliberating loss, times of pain, times of despair. God has placed people in our lives who will love us, who will care for us, who will spend time with us in loving fellowship and communion. The Bible also tells us a person who has friends must him or herself be friendly. He doesn't tell us that we must have a whole lot of friends. So if one chooses to have only one true friend, then let us still use or uh, take the opportunity 
to be friendly to such person to be loyal to such person to be true to such a person the bible also tells us about a friend one that stick it closer than a brother all consideration of this great verse leads us to the place and to this one person jesus christ he is the friend that loves us even when we are sinners he came to seek us and to save us even when we were lost so today let us turn to godly friends and let them demonstrate their love and faithfulness to us we should also crave God's help and allow him to be that friend that he wants to be to us we also should want to be his friend I remember years ago when I went to live in a new community and I met this lady at church for a brief time but also realized that we both would be living in the same community so one day I went to her and I said would you be my friend and while we are in this new place as friends because we are Christians together we could be a witness for Christ the place is new we didn't know other people but at least I had seen her at church once and she said to me I am not sure because all the people over my lifespan that I have a, as friend for some reason they just turn away they become isolated and drop me like as if I am a hot potato I also remember telling her earlier that everything that we need to know is in the scriptures so she said one day I decided to search the scripture in fasting and to ask God if I should be your friend because I you know don't want the same thing to happen again a couple weeks later she came back and she said I was reading the Bible and it was like three weeks ago I was on fasting and I opened my Bible and here comes the scripture and the Lord was saying to me you should have friends so she came and she said okay we can be friends then and we can worship and serve God together and we can also witness to others as friends and of course it did happen and that's over 40 years ago and today we are still friends so God bring people into our lives as I say for different purposes and so if God brings a person in your life one whom you can talk with one whom you can depend upon one who is faithful and true in the friendship he says we ourselves must return likewise that friendship but I do believe he wants us to have friends and let us not be reluctant to turn to our friends because we need them and they need us and more than all we need Christ Jesus who is the greatest friend that we can have so if any have not trusted him today or known him to be that true friend that he really is today he can become he is your friend you can become his friend god bless you thank you again for watching please subscribe it is free like share and comment and continue to visit my youtube channel daily med with lady v